Hey guys and girls, so how are you doing today? Uh, today is March 17th, 2020, and it's day whatever of the corona slash COVID virus. Uh, hope everybody out there is staying healthy, staying safe. So I'm going to do a video today on hand sanitizer, and this has been covered multiple times on YouTube. Uh, I did a quick search uh, today and yesterday, and there's tons of videos, tons and tons of views. Now, no problem with that. The reason why I'm making this video today is not only to show you how to make it, but to also make sure that you understand the correct correct proportions. Um, so I actually saw two videos. One of them I think had 400 and something thousand views on it. I could be wrong. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to point them out. But they started with a 70% isopropyl alcohol and made their formula. No issue with that other than the fact that once you dilute things down, uh, you are not getting that full 60% uh, uh, by volume that the CDC is stating that you should have. So I'll put this in the description, but basically what this is saying here that if soap and water is not available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. That doesn't mean the alcohol the isopropyl alcohol that you add has to be a minimum of 60%. It means that when you make your formula, in the end, the alcohol content needs to be 60% or else it's not going to kill uh, bacteria, germs, viruses, all that stuff. What you're trying to basically do. So here's a quick and dirty calculation on how we can figure this out. So basically, you take the bottle of alcohol, the percentage, which is 91 or 99 percent alcohol is what's recommended and if you were to times that by two-thirds or 0.66 or 66 percent that gives you your alcohol by volume in that actual hand sanitizer mixture so you can see in my first example we've got 99 percent isopropyl alcohol if you were to take two-thirds of that alcohol and a third cup of either glycerin or aloe gel or afterburn uh, the total content or alcohol by volume in the end of that hand sanitizer will be 65.34%. If we were to go instead with 91% isopropyl alcohol, two-thirds of a cup of it, and a third of a cup of glycerin or aloe gel, we end up with 60.06%. So, as you can see, by the CDC and their requirements, you need a minimum of that 60%. So, if you're going to use... Uh, a third of a cup and two-thirds of a cup as your ratios, the absolute minimum is 91% isopropyl alcohol. So I even did a calculation just to prove this. So if you had 70% isopropyl alcohol, you use two-thirds of a cup, and if a third a cup of glycerin or aloe gel, you're going to end up with 46.2% 40, alcohol by volume, which is not enough to kill most bacteria germs, viruses, per the CDC. And then you can see even if we did three quarters of a cup of that 70% isopropyl alcohol, you're only going to get up to 52%. So to make that 70% isopropyl alcohol work, you need to use 86% of your mixture to have the right amount of 60% at the end. And I just put a warning on there. I haven't actually made this uh, mixture but if it's 86% alcohol it's gonna be runny you're not gonna want to be rub rubbing your hands with it you may as well rub it with um, the just the straight alcohol so anyways without further ado we're gonna show you how to mix this and mix it properly so that you can get to that 60% alcohol by volume rating that the CDC and actually the World Health Organization says is uh, the key number for killing bacteria germs viruses So, got just a straight measuring cup, or sorry, uh, not a measuring cup, but uh, whatever you want to call this. I'm going to sound like an idiot, but you know, you can tell that I don't do a lot of cooking. So, I've already got weighed out, or measured out. This is a third cup.
I already have preloaded in here a third of a cup of the alcohol. I'm going to put in another third of a cup. So there's our right mix. So we've got two thirds of a cup of the 99% to a third of the cup of the aloe vera gel or the after sun or afterburn or whatever it might be called. So these items can be picked up at any grocery store, uh, drug store, some variety stores have it. I found these actually at a grocery store. I paid a little bit too much for them, but um, I didn't want to go shopping somewhere else and I didn't want to feed into this pandemic. So I know I said in the, um, in the uh, literature there, literature that uh, you can use 91. So there's 91 right there. It's no different, just different brand. I also said that you needed a funnel, but if you're careful, you can pour it into a container like this. This is just an old container that I've cleaned out. Nothing special. Just the fact that it has a pump on it. You can go to the dollar store and you can pick up, um, they have like uh, travel bottles, I think is what they call them. They're perfect for something like this. So I know I said that we could use a funnel. I think we're just gonna try to pour it out the spout because I think that's what most people are gonna be doing. We're just gonna pour it into here. And the nice thing about using the aloe vera after sun or the aloe vera gel is that it has obviously aloe vera in it already and uh, it makes for uh, a kind of like a moisturizing action after because if you use a lot of hand sanitizer it will dry out your skin. Um, it's kind of one of the drawbacks with using this and I was going to bring down a bottle of hand sanitizer that I did have. The, the bottle that I had, it was I think it was 62% was the uh, alcohol by volume in it. I was just going to show you that as a comparison to show you that um, even the um, uh, mass-produced products, they get to that 62%. And like I said, since we're using 99% um, alcohol, this will end up at a... A solution of almost 66 percent basically 65 and a half percent I, I didn't mention it already but if you guys wanted to and girls wanted to you could add essential oils and it will just help it smell a little bit better you don't want to add a lot though because it will reduce that alcohol by volume so basically we're gonna take our bottle Look at that. No residue, no nothing, just like the real deal. So I hope you found this informative. It's nothing against the other videos out there. It's just the information that they're providing um, was not totally true. They misinterpreted um, just the alcohol by volume in that uh, container. Like well, as soon as you dilute this down, it is not 99% anymore. So you need to start with 91 or 99% isopropyl alcohol. If you found the video informative, think about giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Tell me why down in those comments. Think about hitting that subscribe button. I don't usually post stuff like this, but I have posted uh, some other stuff about bottle fillers, how to use them properly and not get sick. And um, if you like uh, fixing up cars, fixing up your house, you'll find some other content on there. And, uh, you know, think about hitting, uh, hitting that like button too. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.